Uh, there's been some people here fighting for the Tasmanian wilderness for at least a decade. And just as Lake Pedder marked the emergence of a national conscience about our environment and about how little of it is left and about how much of it's been destroyed in the last two centuries, so the fight for the Franklin and Gordon rivers is going to mark the first time in which this nation has rallied to prevent the destruction of one of the gems of our natural heritage. The feeling that uh, we will all number the self-interested Tasmanian politicians who have locked themselves from their own selfish ends into saying we're going to build the Gordon Blow Franklin Dam, that they will not be able to be, can be found elsewhere. Dr. Brown, isn't it a bit late in the light of the uh, state election? No, it's not too late at all. The uh, state elections had very little to do with the dams and in, we should take far more notice of the tremendous vote in the House of Assembly elections in Canberra yesterday where 41% of people wrote no dams on their ballot paper. This is a national issue and the nation is going to fight against the flooding of the Franklin River. Well, how far will the campaign go? Well, we're going to fight the damming of the Franklin all the way, but in particular we need to fight now. We need to have thousands of people writing to Mr Fraser to tell him that they do not want their money, their taxes, channelled through Canberra to destroy the national heritage for a dam that Tasmania doesn't want and can't pay for. So you believe it is now definitely a national...